Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Director Coates, the, in your opening statement, you just made a couple of brief comments about uh, what happened in Manchester last night, and then you responded to a couple of questions. Is there anything uh, that you'd like to elaborate um, on that incident last night, particularly when we have witness after witness uh, coming in here talking about the threat, which you have talked about to, to this country, and it's only a matter of time. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else that you'd like to uh, add in terms of last night's uh, attack? Well, in my discussions with my counterparts in London, uh, MI5, MI6, uh, the various intelligence agencies, and my um, counterpart uh, to my position, uh, we, uh, their greatest concern uh, was the uh, uh, inspired or um, homegrown uh, violent extremist attacks, which are very hard to assess and detect. Um, initial uh, reports that we have received are that it is, was indeed a suicide attack. Whether there were others implicated in that is under assessment. Um, my counterpart actually will be boarding a plane to come to the United States to testify before not sure which committee uh, it is, and I'm sure he'll have some information on that. I have a call in to him uh, to try to see what the latest information is. So and you've I'll had conversations right with after these this since this happened and, uh, this morning? Or? Pardon? You've had conversations with these counterparts uh, as recent since have, this happened? Uh, uh, I have my, co my uh, colleagues have, uh, in the IC have been talking. My direct uh, discussion with my counterpart, uh, he was actually uh, briefing the Prime Minister at the time. Very good. Uh, we have a call teed up as soon as this uh, hearing is finished. Okay. On, on uh, North Korea, we all know the significance of uh, May 14th, the capability that's there, the mm -hmm. anticipation that they're going to have the capability uh, to uh, do something uh, uh, with the payload that they can survive the exit and reentry strategy. Uh, this is already, that, that's a, a great concern, but it already was a concern to us. Now, I understand and I've heard from different uh, witnesses that intelligence gathering in North Korea is more difficult than it is in other parts of the world. You, know, the, you can't use uh, whistleblowers and some other things. Could you talk about the difficulty uh, that is unique to North Korea in uh, gathering uh, uh, information? It is, uh, if not the har one of the hardest, the hardest uh, collection nation that we have to uh, collect against. Uh, you know, if you look at that satellite picture of uh, the lights at night uh, from the satellite, uh, there's one dark area with no lights on, mm -hmm. and that's North Korea. Their broadband is extremely limited, uh, so uh, using that as an access to collection is, um, uh, we get very limited results. We do not have constant, uh, constituous, consistent ISR uh, capabilities, mm -hmm. and so there are gaps. The North Koreans know about these. So um, it is, um, it becomes a difficult challenge uh, relative yeah. to a society as closed and as isolated as North Korea is yeah. to yeah. get the right intelligence that we need. Yeah, well, the, I, I know it's a problem, and that has to have the, uh, make us question the accuracy of the product a little bit more than we would some of the other countries that were in, involved in intelligence. Clearly. Um, on uh, the last hearing that we had, we talked quite a bit in some uh, detail about the fact that we know in North Korea the big problem is that it's uh, it's unpredictable, it's managed by someone who may be you know, mentally deranged, and so we have things that are true there that are not elsewhere. And they talk about the danger that is uh, there. But they did also say in the last hearing that we had last week, they talked about maybe one of the opportunities we have is a new awakening in China, that China now may no, no longer be as, um, as close to them as it had been in the past. Do you see an opportunity? I noticed when you went over and did an excellent job, the seven different areas of, of problems, the last one was China, but you didn't say anything about maybe a change that will enable us to make a little bit more progress in North Korea. Well, as you know, the President had a, a very positive meeting with uh, uh, President, uh, Prime Minister Xi. Uh, we have been working, uh, our Secretary of State and others have been working very closely with the Chinese. We see them as playing a very integral role in dealing with the situation in North Korea. 
and in fact, it's probably the, and there is a strategy in place uh, relative to uh, sort of a ratcheting up of uh, efforts uh, with China mm -hmm. uh, to influence uh, North Korea to uh, desist, desist, desist uh, their uh, nuclear weapons uh, goals. So um, that, along with um, uh, the election in South Korea, uh, with its uh, new uh, new president, um, the uh, is part of our strategy to leverage uh, things uh, efforts against North Korea to get them to reassess their their uh, current strategy. Thank you. Thank you.